Hi everybody. Today the video is going to be a little bit different than usual. Today we're going to be talking about entropy. What it is, what it means. And if you're not really of a scientific bent, then you might want to just stop watching now because it could be tediously boring this video. And I'm not a scientist, it's probably pseudoscience what I'm saying. I've got an O level in biology, and I've got um, an O level in physics. And that's about as far as I go, really. But what entropy is, it's quite interesting. And it's connected with a lot of other things in life too. So, for example, imagine this thing I'm building here. Which is going to fall down already. And that was twisting up, yeah? Now, this little pile of wood here is in a high state of entropy. And I had to input some energy to build that. And um, the law of thermodynamics, the second law of thermodynamics, wants to destroy that because uh, all the energy I put into building this little thing, as soon as I finish making it, that energy begins to disappear out back to the universe. And to keep this structure uh, intact, I would have to keep putting more energy in, for example, it's fallen down, it could have been a breath of wind that done it, and now I've got to input more energy and build it up again, and that's the same thing for everything in the world. Imagine an old, imagine a house, you build a new house, you've got all new wood on there and it's all nice and perfect and ten years later a big storm comes and blows the tiles off and you've got to climb up on the roof and put some new tiles on there. That's because the energy of the universe, which is signified by the wind, has come and ripped them tiles off. <laughs> And you have to put some more energy in to keep the structure going. And you've always got to be putting more energy into that system. Because it will always be under attack. Now, it's not just man-made things that are controlled by this system yeah you, you, your car for example you've got to put new tires on the tires wear out bits of rubber get left on the road the engine wears out by friction everything wears out and you've got to buy a new starter motor you've got to buy a new tire you've got to buy a, a new bumper when your bumper falls off but not only is that working with man-made things like I just said also works with living things too and living things are like little anti-entropy machines every day you've got to eat some food and input energy into your body as your body uh, loses energy to the universe you've got to put back in some energy to keep it going. And if you ever think about it, every single thing that you eat has lived at one point. You can't eat stones and you, you can't eat inorganic matter, apart from tiny, tiny amounts, little bits of salt and little bits of iron. But you have to, everything we 
put in our mouths and he has lived at one point and otherwise we can't take in that energy and our bodies are made up of millions and millions of cells and each one of those cells is like a little life form on its own and they all get together in a colony and live in our bodies and our bodies tell themselves to behave themselves and you be a nose cell and you be a head cell or whatever and sometimes the cell cells get a bit bullshit and naughty and say I don't want to be a nose cell I want to be something else cell and that's when you get cancer but all them cells have got a DNA inside and that's this little twist of material inside and that's got all the information for reproducing the cells and making new cells by reproduction but this DNA stuff inside that's been around for a long long time that's been around for billions of years so that means um, it's older than the mountain ranges, the Himalayas, older than the seas, all the earths, tectonic plates have shifted round. But the DNA has always been there reproducing itself. And that shows you how strong life is. And this DNA device, that's a device to flout the rules of entropy. Because the entropy says all these complex things are just going to lose their integrity and fall back to chaos in the universe. Every time you build up something, every time you put in some energy to build something, that energy has got to come from somewhere. And at the end of the day, you might think locally you're building a little bit of organizedness in the universe. Yeah, I'm building a bit of organizedness. You build a greenhouse, you build a house, you make a car, a machine, or even just some of these little blocks here. And you think, I've increased the amount of complexity in the world by building this. But you haven't, because that's one of the rules of entropy and the law, second law of thermodynamics is that energy gets taken from somewhere and where that energy comes from there's more chaos more chaos is always created when a system is built a complicated system so these DNAs have been existing for billions of years and perhaps our life is only a small part like one of those millions of cells in the body perhaps our life is just like one of the cells that keeps on the DNA carrying on for those billions of years and our lives are just a little tiny sideline in the bigger picture of the DNA wanting to survive we are like the cells in the body and you play your part and your body hosts the DNA and you have some children and you pass that on and you pass that on and you die but the DNA carries on going and that's life as we know it and there's some funny thoughts you can get about DNA and entropy and life and that's the fact what I just said to you before about there's always more chaos created from any system and you look at the earth and this is pure bad science you look at the earth 
and it's all complicated what's going on so there's trees and flowers and tons and tons of DNA and complicatedness and uh, all around this complicatedness this little area of organized complicated matter all around this place it's chaos it's giant gas clouds in space and just raw energy and power and you never know that perhaps when this process carries on going we take out energy from the universe to make our organized little universe here on earth and who knows perhaps all the uh, busy body in our DNA is doing trying to break this rule of entropy and saying yes we want to continue complicated that's creating a big amount of chaos somewhere else so maybe if you want to be really bad science you could say that maybe all the chaos that around us is created from life and maybe life won't be satisfied till it's cr created all the matter in the universe into DNA that would be its ultimate goal but it could never happen it's a one trick pony the DNA and the anti-entropy machine because it would always lose at the end because no matter how much material was organized into complicated structures there would always be more chaos so the more organized we become the more chaos we make and maybe the ultimate chaos is the end of the universe when you get the, the big crunch and maybe the big crunch comes when this limit is reached when all the matter has busy 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 putting itself together and it's used up all the energy and that creates a great chaos and that would be the big crunch. Now, I could be just making this up as I go along. But there's lots of things to talk about on the subject. Time's involved. For example, why that thing can't spontaneously go up on its own. And lots of other interesting little things and thoughts. So we'll just leave that one from there till I get my brain in order and create a bit more entropy and hopefully what I've said is not going to cause more chaos in your brains. Have a great day.